sweet gimbal action! One, two, three, jump! Hey guys, Vito from Cast Strength here. So, something fun happened over the weekend. I had to get five stitches put in my hand, and our moderators have forbid me from drinking for a little bit because apparently alcohol thins your blood. I don't believe them, but I'm afraid of them. So I'm gonna listen to what they say. So because I can't drink anything, we aren't gonna have a review uh, this week. Maybe I'll be able to squeak one in on uh, for Friday, uh, the day after uh, my birthday, but because it would be kind of sucky if I couldn't drink on my birthday, right? Like that's just a thing that we're supposed to do on our birthdays. Yeah, so uh, what I thought I'd do as a video idea, cause you know, I want to give you guys something is sort of a play on uh, something that Roy from Aqua Vitae does. He does his recycled reviews and I haven't come up with a good name yet for, uh, for this segment, but it's, I don't know. What should we call it? Re... Re-examination? Ugh, that's awful. All right, so um, my idea for this is to go through some empty boxes that I have up there um, of stuff that I've uh, purchased, and I got a couple of empties up there as well. Um, for whatever reason, I just have an issue throwing stuff away, especially nice looking boxes. It just looks really cool up there. It makes it look like I have a lot of whiskeys when I really don't have very much just what's behind me on the bottom shelf and obviously all of the crazy amount of samples that all you fine people send in so let's get to this I'm gonna pick uh, three non peated scotches uh, from the past year that I've bought that I would 100 percent buy again. I'm not going to give a rating on them. I'm just going to kind of talk about them very briefly. So let's see if we can get this guy situated and the gimbal is going to stay right there, hopefully. And we're going to go through it. First whiskey I'm going to talk about and I, <laughs> hold on. Oh God. Oh, let's see if I can get this guy just pointed up. Okay. I think, I think it's good. So um, I've given this zero thought. This is completely on the fly and I'm probably not gonna edit this down very much. I'm gonna try and keep it under seven minutes, maybe. We'll see what we can do. So the first whiskey that I wanna talk about is the Akintoshin Three Wood. Um, it is, it was probably in the middle of last year that I bought this. My bots after I had tried the Akintoshin 12, which I really did enjoy. It was on sale at the LCBO. I forget how much I paid for it, but it was probably a couple bucks off. The LCBO doesn't do crazy deals. I think it was like three, four dollars off the normal price. Uh, I bought it on the recommendation from the guys over at the Whiskey Vault uh, because everything that they were talking about just kind of sparked some curiosity. So when I first had this, um, I was com coming off um, a cigar and it was uh, maybe an hour or so after the cigar and I had this and all I got was a uh, rich chocolate and um, like wet tobacco leaf. And I really enjoy that, enjoy that, that, that taste. And now every time I go back to it, I still get that wet tobacco -ness. And I've spoken with other people as well about, about that uh, taste note and they get it as well. So it's not, it wasn't just um, an after, taste of the cigar that I had, though I'm sure that did play a little bit in uh, to the overall taste and impression that I got from this, but it was amazing. The whole bottle start to finish, it didn't over oxidize um, at all. And I had this open for quite some time, probably about uh, four or five months or so. And it was fantastic. Uh, start to finish, I will 100% rebuy this uh, bottle again so I can actually do a proper review of it for you guys ah all right we're gonna do this guy now so uh, this is the Dalmore Valor this was um, uh, duty-free exclusive and it is the precursor to the the new standard expression port 
finished Dalmore. I forget what it's called at the moment. I'll have the little flashy thing happen over here. Um, they took, they discontinued this over the summer and introduced the port finish Dalmore uh, into their core line um, after a couple of months of this being uh, off the market. This is matured in American white oak, Oloroso sherry wood, um, and uh, finished in port pipes from the Douro region in Portugal. Um, this did not oxidize very well, and I have a sneaking suspicion that it's because of the, it was because of the cork. The cork on this was never, I, I felt was never 100% right, but I didn't, this was fairly early in my, in my, um, in my journey, so I didn't know very much, I just assumed, and uh, if I ever, now I know what to look for in a, in a, in a ill-fitting cork, but it didn't oxidize well, but uh, for the first half of the bottle, it was splendid, it was great, rich orange marmalade, and uh, marmalade, 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 and, um, and chocolate. I'm very, very curious what the core uh, expression, uh, what is now the core expression, what the core, what the core, how, how the core expression um, compares to this, but I'm willing to give it a shot if I get it for a good price and if it ever actually makes its way to Canada. But uh, yeah, so that is the Dalmore Valor. <sighs> All right, last one for today, because we're running a little bit, little bit long. The Redbreast 12 Cast Strength. So I have uh, the 12 normal box, it was lacking a little bit. I, f I drank it, it was great. It, it is what it is for, you know, 40% uh, Irish. The extra 18% really does make a big difference. I do, this is one of the only whiskeys where I actually um, cast strength as well. I, I don't, normally don't put water in non-cast strength whiskeys, but this is one of the few where I will put just a little bit to bring it down to about 50, 52 percent that's where it kind of just hits its it hits its stride for me in terms of the taste i'll drink this neat i love it neat but uh after dis after discovering uh the this little bit of water it really does bring this out um i will be buying another one of these because uh i just like i like showing off the the high ab vita by non-whiskey friends and them just freaking out like how can you drink that how can you drink that? all you taste is the burn and the alcohol and i was like I'm just, I'm just so much man that, you know, the alcohol doesn't affect me very much. <laughs> and they just roll their eyes at me and I'm sure everyone else watching right now is rolling their eyes at me. But uh, yeah, no, but it's really, really good. Uh, and I'm, I'm usually not a huge, huge fan of Irish, but um, this at cash strength really hits, its, hit, hits home uh, for me. So yeah, so those are my three whiskeys from my collection that I bought in the past year that I would would 100% buy again. Um, the Dalmore is a little bit of an iffy thing just because I don't know how much has changed from the Duty Free Exclusive to the new Core Edition, but we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see how it compares at least in my memory because I don't have I never took notes on that one, but we're gonna leave it at that for today. We're at the just shy of 11 minutes, so yeah. Um, in the meantime, guys, I can't, again, I don't have whiskey with me just because I'm afraid that uh, Christ, Christina Gretchen and Jeremy are gonna are gonna assassinate me if I have anything to drink. But uh, I will toast to you guys with, uh, with an Irish butter cookie. These are delicious. So stay classy, stay safe, guys, and we'll see you in a couple of days. Sláinte.